Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to be going over on how to solve the problem here. So how to find the area of this item here, this donut thing. Okay, so let's see. What do we have? So we have this circular thing with this hole in the middle. And we want to find the area of the blue part only, okay? And as you can see, we have this line going here through the thing, but not the diameter. And it's 20 meters long. Okay, so now first thing what we'll do is label. We'll label the two circles that are present. So first this circle, this whole thing with this included, we call it circle one. And now circle two will be this white part inside that we want to cut out. Okay, so the area of this whole, the area of this blue part is going to be equal to area is going to be equal to the area of this first circle so everything minus so which means take away the area of the second circle okay so as you can probably recall the equation for an area of a circle is pi times r squared with r being the radius okay so now let's find the radiuses for our two circles so remember radius starts from the middle and then you go to the edge of the circle you draw it so I'm going to draw the radius for the first circle and I'll label it X and now draw the radius for the second circle and I'll label it Y okay as you can notice maybe I drew this to make a right triangle this is not just coincidental. This is, I did this on purpose, and later you'll see why I did it, okay? But first, let's just, let's do, let's deal with this for now. And then later I'll show you why I drew it as a right triangle, okay? So now we can um, improve our equation. So we can update it. We can add the variables for the radiuses for each separate area so for area one we can make it pi the radius is x for this for the first circle pi x squared minus for the second it will be pi y squared because pi is the radius for the second circle let me make that look a little nicer okay now what do we do well now we go to the part where I drew the right triangle as you can see I drew this right triangle right this right triangle we can use an equation that involves the right triangle and that is Pythagorean's theorem okay as you may recall Pythagorean's theorem it goes a squared plus b squared equals c squared okay so now we can use this to help us with our with finding out these missing values so we only have one value and this value actually this whole line is 20 meters so as you can see it's cut in half here so this will actually be 10 meter 10 meters here and x here is our hypotenuse and the hypotenuse always is c okay so now let's rewrite it instead of a squared we have y squared plus 10 squared is equal to x squared which I'll rewrite to y squared plus 100 is equal to x squared okay now let's go back to this equation here and we can still simplify this more if we factor out the pi so let's factor out the pi here which gives us a is equal to pi times x squared minus y squared okay now let's go back to this equation so we're here now right and we don't really know what to do well we can rearrange this equation so I'll show you how so let's subtract y squared from this side minus y squared it will give us x squared minus oops minus y squared is equal to 100 
and now if you see here this x squared here x squared minus y squared is also present here which means we are able to substitute the value of this which is 100 into this part here so let's do that so it means oops wrong color sorry about that which means area is equal to pi times 100 as you can see and we can rewrite that as area is equal to 100 pi and that is our answer that is our exact answer now if you would like it in decimal form we could you could use a calculator could just use your head if you know what pi is 3.14 you could write that it's also about 314.16 yes okay this is just a rounded answer though okay so thank you for watching I hope you learn something new and see you next time bye